Hey Booktube, it's Eric. I am back with another video of pickups for this week. I know that Monday I had one that was the uh, north end of Detroit stores I stopped at coming back from Canada. Today is going to be stuff I picked up in the last two days going to thrift stores in the southern or south part of Detroit or as we call it locally, downriver, and then a couple of library sales. And uh, all of this stuff cost me under $25 combined. Uh, I did spend a little more than that at stores because I picked up a sweater that was 5 bucks, and I picked up uh, some DVDs and a uh, CD or a cassette or two. But anyways, so this is a lot of stuff, so let's get to it. Starting off with a uh, Selvish Army I went to, and the books there are $0.20 cents a piece, so you can't beat the price. I've never read John Saul, but I saw this in the bin for 20 20 cents, so picked it up. I've also never read Randy Wayne White. This looks like a really good condition copy of Key West Connection, so I picked that up. The one that I was really excited about from this particular store was this, Mammoth Book of Private Eye Stories. In here we've got great stuff from Raymond Chandler, Frederick Brown, uh, Ross McDonald, Richard Prather, um, Ed McBain, Stephen Marlowe. Oh, that's a Chester Drum story. Cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Larry Block. Um, so yeah, uh, Bill Pranzini, who we will talk about, and I pronounced his name incorrectly in my last video. And of course, Lauren Esselman from the Detroit area. I saw a lot of his books out and about. So from there, I went to a uh, another Salvation Army. I believe it was Salvation Army. Yes, it was. And speaking of Lauren Esselman... Little Black Dress. Pick that one up. I'm going to go through these pretty quickly because there's a lot. Another Ed McBain. This is the third book in the... It's either this, I think it's the third book in the 87th Precinct novels, The Mugger. I've ranted about this before. If you like the book uh, Lush Life by Richard Price, this is the same story, done a billion times better, and with half the word count. Nikki Spillane, One Lonely Night, a Mike Hammer book. Uh, this was a blind buy. The 8th square looks like a uh, crazy uh, 80s, 70s horror novel. This looked kind of cool. Blind Man's Bluff uh, by, what's the author's name on this? It is Bernard Kendrick. So then I went to a value world and I picked up, I have no clue what this is, Sammy Keys and the Hollywood Mummy. This may well be oriented towards young adult readers, but that's okay with me. I'm lucky. Happy to check that out. This was maybe my score of that day. This is Hobgoblin by John Coyne. So uh, there were two novels that are really known to be part of the Dungeons and Dragons panic of the 80s. The first is this one. Another one is Mazes and Monsters, which is only notable because there's a TV movie starring Tom Hanks. That movie is worth watching because they have part of the ending is shot at the World Trade Centers. So things you will never see again. So I went to yet another uh, Salvation Army, and I picked up another Ed McBain, 87th Precinct. Picked up a Roger Zelazny paperback. Picked up a Butcher Men's Adventure novel. And then I picked this up, which I do have two copies of. I've got another one of these, and I've also got the reissue from Hard Case Crime. This is actually Michael Crichton. He wrote a bunch of books as John Lang before he wrote under his own name. All right, so then this morning, that was yesterday, this morning I got up early and my friend had texted me last night saying, do you want to go to a, a book, a library sale? And I said, sure, why don't we go to two? Because uh, there was some miscommunication about our local library sale. So before I got to his place, I went to the local Goodwill, which I hadn't been there for a while. And I have this crazy tiny list of stuff that I'm looking for. And I found a book on that list for $2.00. This is X Saves the World. Went to the library sale. Pulled this off the free cart. They shoot horses, don't they? I've got another copy of this. This is a classic, and this has actually got photos from the film, which is a classic of the 70s. If you haven't seen that, check it out. Sherlock Holmes vs. Dracula is edited by Lauren Esselman. I saw a lot of Esselman stuff because he's a local guy copy of Hammett's The Continental Op. A lot of, um, let's do this one next. 
uh, Bill Pronzini Snatch. This is a nameless detective mystery. I've read one of those. I've got a bunch of them. They're pretty good. Uh, classic copy of George V. Higgins, The Friends of Eddie Coyle. If you have not read this and you like crime novels, this is a classic must-read. All right, another Bill Pronzini, The Vanished, another nameless detective entry. Philip Kerr, Berlin Noir. These are the first three of the... Um, uh, First, it says on somewhere on here. It's the first three of, of this series, which my friend who I went with was telling me that you have to read these. So found that. There was a bag sale, so it was like $4 a bag. Uh, Serialist by David Gordon. This sounded pretty cool. It's about a guy who's a struggling writer who pumps out pulp serial novels. Mystery of Edwin Drood by Rupert Holmes. Yes, that Rupert Holmes. The... Pina Colada song, Rupert Holmes. I've never read any of his books, but I threw it in my bag. Uh, Let Me Go by Chelsea Kane. I have not read any of her stuff, but I have one of her books uh, in my to-be-read pile. And I did read her Mockingbird comic from uh, Marvel Comics, and that was pretty cool, so I want to check out some of her stuff. Yeah, my table over here is becoming full. All right, uh, another 87th Precinct novel by Ed McBain. Uh, Ice. So now I'm going to get into the anthologies. Ross MacDonald, The Name is Archer, which is all a bunch of Lou Archer short stories. There were a lot of anthology books. Uh, Murder for Revenge, Murder for Love, Murder and Obsession, P.I. Files, First Cases, Volume 4, The American, uh, the Private Eye Writers of America presents the Seamus Game. The Mystery Book of Days, which I haven't really looked into much. This was one of those things that I threw in my bag because I had room. And then the big one, The Fine Art of Murder, edited by Ed Gorman, Martin H. Greenberg. This looks like it's got a lot of essays and stuff about the mystery genre. So I'm looking forward to checking that out. I'm going to put that right over there. All right, so from there, where did we go next? We went to a bunch of places. So um, we went to this value world, and I've been wanting to read the Robert Galbraith books, and I found a copy of Cuckoo Calling. We went to um, we went to another um, Salvation Army, and I picked up uh, Premiere at Willow Run. I don't know. Everything was on sale. They were 10 cents today. Uh, I have copies of this, but Levine by Westlake and a Perry Rodan. I give all these to my buddy Tony when I find them, but uh, maybe I'll read one someday. But it was a dime. Uh, somewhere along the way, we went to another Salvation Army. I got a Jack Higgins. Hell, Hell is Too Crowded. Another McBain romance. And a copy of Death Wish by Brian Garfield with the movie tie and stuff. Finally, we went to another library sale. I uh, picked up Able Team paperback for 50 cents. Picked up a Blade Double for 50 cents. Uh, men's Adventure stuff from the 80s. I'm, I'm not in love with this stuff, but there's a certain nostalgia for it, and it's easy to read. My buddy told me to pick this one up, The Killer Angels, which uh Pulitzer Prize winning Civil War novel. So yeah, I'm reading like forgettable 80s men's adventure stuff and then Pulitzer Prize winning copy of uh, Robert Parker's Paper Doll don't have this in my Spencer collection that I will get to that one eventually and then finally Horseshoe or Gumshoe this was something they just randomly grabbed apparently this is a omnibus of Canadian crime fiction either way that was a pretty big haul. It's a lot of books. So it's going to probably be another two weeks before I do one of these. But, uh, you know, the library sales, the Salvation Army, the Goodwill, the Value World, uh, you never know what you're going to find. And sometimes you find something to check off your list, and sometimes you find something that it's too good of a deal just to leave there, and sometimes you find stuff you just want to check out. So if you have anything to say about any of these books, leave a comment. 
Uh, if you're watching my book stuff, I thank you very much for doing so, and I'll catch you all next time.